Hey guys, we're Jay Starbaugh here, two-time Hawaii Ironman triple amputee, first triple amputee in the world to do that race, one of the hardest endurance races in triathlon in the world. I just wanted to share with you guys a training tip number three. It's uh, learning how to develop your strength in your legs, learning how to control your legs and your sockets, learning how to overall have explosive energy and strength so you can get up steps, you can get in and out cars, be able to do normal everyday activities. As an amputee, if you're just beginning amputee or if you've been an amputee your entire life or if you're just battling back from an injury and trying to regain your mobility, all of these training tips are definitely gonna help you and get you back on the fast track to living a life with no limitations and no restrictions. So I wanna show you guys something that I use. It's a little bit more advanced, but it's, you can still do it even if you're a beginner. You can walk it, you can jump it, you can do whatever, you can find variations. So basically, it's just hopping in place. Hopping in place basically helps you control your leg, helps you figure out what your body mechanics are doing if you have a strong core, if you have a weak back. It helps you figure these things out because as you're doing it, you start realizing, wow, this thing hurts, or that hurts, or this doesn't feel right. And if it doesn't feel right, stop. And then if, if it doesn't feel right, you have to readjust what needs to change and how you're gonna do it. So if your lower back is hurting, that means you're maybe too far bent over and you're not engaging your core, you're not keeping your strong core tight, so you have to do more core exercises as I showed you. So let's get to it, right? Okay, so first, basically, you stand up in place and you just hop. And this really strengthens the legs, inside the legs, and inside the prosthetics. So you get the strong legs and then you're strengthening your legs and your prosthetics. You're also learning how to be one with your prosthetic. So you're learning how to figure out, okay, how does this thing work? Is it gonna hurt when I jump? Is it not gonna hurt when I jump? And you're gonna figure out the soft configurations. I'll cover all that stuff in other videos with learning how to deal with your prosthetics when you're getting active and how to, to deal with the socks and how to deal with sweating and all those good stuff. So basically you jump. And you can jump forward or you can jump back. And all these things really help in developing your power and your strength in your legs. And then if you can't do that, you can just do one leg up, one leg down. And you and, and with this, you could definitely get your balance in your legs and develop your balance. You could do that for your AK, single K, BK, double BK, double AK, it doesn't matter. Just do these exercises. They're real simple. That will sure to get you on the fast track. So I can do it. You can definitely do it. There is no excuses. So see you guys out there. Live free, live amazingly.